Hey everyone, it's Jason Pannone, Head of Reference and Cultural Assets Manager here at the East Hartford Public Library. Today I want to show you how to use JobNow. It's one of our free online resources available through our website, and it's a great resource for any sort of help you might need with finding a job, like writing a resume, getting interview skill practice help, and so on. So with that, let's take a look at what it offers. As you can see from this homepage, JobNow offers quite a bit. We're really gonna focus just on the job assistance and the resume writing help, but uh, take a look at this for a few moments and see exactly what the site offers, because it's quite a bit. It's not just job help. You can get homework help. You can get interview uh, practice. There's skill building if you wanna improve your writing or your math. Uh, there's career resources if you're looking to job change. Um, different ways to learn. There's GED stuff on here. So there really is a lot going on here. And the wonderful thing about it is it's free, truly free. There's no catch. That's it. So there you go. So what do you need to access job now? The short answer is all you need is a valid Connecticut library card from any library in the state. You can log in with your library card number, that's the number on the back of your card, and you'll be able to get in. If you don't have a valid library card, if you're an East Hartford resident, call the number that you see here, 860-290-4330, between 9 a.m. and 5 p.m. Monday through Friday, and we'll get you set up with a temporary card. For any other Connecticut resident who lives outside of East Hartford, contact your local public library to see what you need to get it. But other than that, you just need a library card. No email is required, no phone number, no personal information, just a library card. So it's very simple to get in and use it. How do I get to job now? Very good question. The way to do it is to first go to our website that's the library's website, which is easthartfordct.gov backslash library. When you put that in and hit enter, you're going to come to our library homepage. Make sure to go here because if going through our website is what allows you to access the site for free. Once you've gotten here, go down the left hand side. You see we've got a bunch of links here. You want to click on digital resources. Once you click on digital resources, you'll come to this page and you'll see that the very first item is job now. All you have to do is just mouse over and see if I can get it. It's not wanting to cooperate right there. And then just click on the job now right there and you're taken right to the login screen. Once you've reached the screen, this is where you're going to log in. Right in this box is where you type in your library card number. That's all the whole number with no spaces. You don't need to do anything else fancy. And then you click in, log in to job now. So this is the home page for job now. You can see there's a lot going on here and it may seem a bit overwhelming. So what I'm gonna do is take each of these in sections so that we'll just cover one thing and then at the end you can go back and review stuff for each individual section. Don't worry about the login, my account right now. Don't worry about any of this stuff. This all up here more or less replicates what's down here. So just focus on here for the moment and we're gonna start with the resume section. You see you've got four topics here. You've got live resume expert, resume templates, resume resources, and a resume lab. Start with the resume templates. When you click this link on, you're gonna to come to a page with three links. These are three different kinds of resumes. The functional resume, that's the one um, that most employers want nowadays. They really care more about your experience and your skills, and they're less concerned about where you worked. 
So if you sold 10,000 widgets and increased your company's productivity by 25%, that's what they care about, those numbers. They don't really care about that you did it at Smith, Jones, and Fredericks, uh, whatever company that happens to may be. The chronological resume template, that's your traditional resume. That's the one where you list everything from where you currently work down to where you first started working, usually for about the last 10 years. And then the combination resume is a little bit of a both. Um, each resume has its strengths and weaknesses. You have to kind of know what job you're applying for. Um, one isn't necessarily better than the other. It's just you have the option to do that. And the nice thing about these templates is that they are truly free. This is not those supposed free resume sites where you fill it all out and at the very end they ask you for $14.95 for you to even be able to print off or um, have a copy of your resume. This is truly free. Once you've created it, it's yours to keep. There's no catch. The other nice thing that we like about these resumes is that they are in Word format but they are very, very easy to work with. There's none of the crazy tables. There's no crazy formatting you need to work with. Um, it's already done for you. So all you have to do is basically just enter in all the data. And the nice thing is, is all this red here, these are just suggestions for you. This tells you what you wanna have in this section. Um, you can delete sections, you can add sections, but this gives you a little bit of guidance on um, what you should do. So this is really nice, especially if you haven't done a resume in a long time or you're really not sure what goes into a resume. This will just lay it right out for you and you don't even have to think about it. We'll go back. The resume resources. These are things like, how, if, you're a, if you're a military veteran, um, how to write a resource that, a uh, resume that best reflects your skill set all sorts of free resume guides, truly free resume guides. Um, so this is really good places to get help with that, especially for if you're military. A live resume expert, if you wanna chat with somebody, they're available from 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. You can log in and you can live chat with somebody that you're working on your resume late and you're like, geez, I'm really not sure about something. I wanna bounce it off somebody. You can log in and you can go ahead and um, chat with someone. The other really nice thing, and I highly recommend this as a resume lab, you can log in here, you can upload your resume, and you will be able to send it to someone who usually within 24 hours, they'll send it back for you critiqued. I have done this with my own resume, and what I got back looked like I spent hundreds of dollars to have a professional uh, reformat it and really spiff it up. So if you really want your resume to shine, I highly recommend that you do this. The other nice thing is you do not need an email address to do this. You can do this from a library computer, you can do it from home, you can do it from your phone, your tablet, whatever device you have. So it, it's a really, really nice feature. And again, it's all free to you. So that is what we have for resume help. The next section I'll cover is the job interview section. If you don't have a lot of interview experience or just the mere thought of going on a job interview gives you the willies, this is a really great place to start. As with the live resume help, you can talk to a live interview coach 3 p.m. to 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time every day, except major holidays, and somebody will help walk you through a practice interview and you can never have too much interview experience, interview practice. Uh, so this is really great, especially if you're nervous, if questions like, so tell me a little bit about yourself, or what's your greatest weakness? If those questions throw you, this can be a great place to get some actual live practice before you go into an interview and get a little more confidence. You've also got interview tips, which is just like, um, just like the other site. Things like the don'ts of interviewing, questions to ask the interviewer. Most people, when, the, when you go into an interview and the HR person says, so do you have any questions for us? That's not just rhetorical. They really want you to have questions. So this can, um, this can help you a lot. 
answering substantive questions. This is like, um, those are the questions like, so tell me your greatest weakness or stuff like that. This is uh, a good thing to help you kind of prepare. It's always good to be prepared when you go into an interview and it really helps you to shine. And finally, these are online resources. Same as before, how to get resource uh, interview tips, potential questions that you might get asked, how to dress for an interview, things like that. This can be really, really fantastic stuff just as a refresher or if you're new or if you haven't interviewed in a long time. Come over here and check this out. Again, it's all free. There's no cost. There's no catch. There's no trick involved. So in, I hope you guys do get a chance to check this out. The next section I'm going to cover is called the career section. This is where you can get a live job coach. If you're a high school student or looking to make a career change, you can click here and see, get some suggestions on maybe what other stuff you want to consider. Um, if you have a desire to become an underwater basket weaver and your career in consolidated widgets isn't doing anything for you, this test might really help you figure out if that's a smart move for you. Job resources is, this is where we're, you can find uh, information on job stuff. I'm gonna focus on that in the next section. Skill Surfer, this is if you need to take tests. This is where you can do high school entrance exam, GED, college prep, test prep, college now, college placement. I mean, there is just so much practice stuff here that's available for free, ESL, so definitely take advantage of it. E-Parachute, similar to career assessments, and Optimal Resume. This is uh, sort of the resume templates, but on steroids. Rather than you typing it out, you fill in information, and the program populates, a creates a resume for you. This is a little more advanced, um, and it's a little trickier to use from my experience. So if you do use this and you're find, finding you're being frustrated, give us a call at the library and we'll see if we can help you with it because it does take a little bit of um, practice to be able to use it well. So the last thing I want to talk about is this job resources section. This is a really, really great section of the site, especially for local resources, because this is all general, um, where you can find all sorts of Connecticut jobs that is general, that's sometimes better than just using indeed.com or monster.com or careerbuilder.com. You get to tap into, it looks like close to a dozen different um, websites for just jobs in Connecticut and a whole bunch of uh, different fields. There's also jobs for veterans, jobs for seniors, uh, job sites for students and grads, and things like that. If you're also looking for national jobs, you can also go here. Uh, ZipRecruiter, Indeed, Monster, Idealist, all sorts of stuff here. So this is a great place if you really want to make sure that you're trying to get as many possible job leads as you can. Check out this site, um, this section of the site. I think you'll be well rewarded. So that's all I've got for job now. It is a lot. If you have any questions, please, please, please call us at the library, 860-290-4330, Monday through Friday, 9 to 5. Someone will be there to help you with it, and we will do our darndest to make sure that you're using this site to the best advantage. So I hope this helps. Again, Jason Pannone, Head of Reference and Cultural Assets Manager here at the East Hartford Public Library. So keep practice that safe social distancing, wash those hands, and we'll see you next time. Have a great afternoon. Bye.